In 1976, US Mint released a special series of coins to commemorate the 200th anniversary of American Revolution known as Bicentennial Coins. This included three denominations, the quarter, the half dollar, and dollar coins. Each coin featured a unique dual date, 1776-1976, on the obverse to mark the bicentennial year. The Washington Quarter displayed in here had a special reverse design by Jack by Jack Eyre, depicting a colonial drummer with a victory torch surrounded by 13 stars, representing the original colonies. The Kennedy Half Dollar featured a reverse design by Seth Huntington showing Independence Hall in Philadelphia. The Eisenhower Dollar reverse designed by Dennis R. Williams showcased a Liberty Bell super superimposed on the moon, symbolizing America's past and future. These coins were struck both in clad and 40% silver, with a silver version sold as part of collector sets. The clad versions were issued for general circulation and remain relatively common today. In uncirculated proof condition, especially in higher grades, bicentennial coins can be of interest to collectors due to their historical significance, unique designs, and celebration of America's 200th year of independence. Now you are looking at America's one of the most valuable bicentennial quarters sold at auctions. This is 1976's Bicentennial Quarter, graded in Mint State 69. As I mentioned before, this issue had silver and clad variety. This one is silver with, with a marker of S, the mint mark that denotes it was struck in San Francisco for collectors. Even under magnification, the exquisite preservation of this modern silver-clad piece is highly impressive. The subtlest hints of champagne patina are seen over the obverse, while the reverse is essentially untoned. Though the net mintage of 1976's silver-clad business strike is speculative, its rarity in MS69 is undeniable. So this one is in Mint State 69, graded by PCGS, and it is in superb gem condition, lacking just one point from absolute numismatic perfection. So this wonderful gem ended up selling for $19,200 at heritage auctions. Moving on with this 1976s Kennedy half dollar, also in mean state 69, almost in perfect condition. This one was graded by NGC. The nation's bicentennial celebration was widely celebrated at the time, and special reverse designs for the quarter half dollar and dollar, as we mentioned before, were created to mark the occasion. The half dollar reverse with Independence Hall as a centerpiece was designed by Seth G. Huntington. In addition to regular issue clad coinage, 11 million silver clad uncirculated specimens were struck and offered in sets and 4 million silver clad proofs were struck for collectors. These magnificent silver clad MS69 specimens exhibit sharply detailed design elements throughout and virtually flawless surfaces are lustrous and appealing. The superb gem in Mint State 69 ended up selling for $9,600 at heritage auctions. <laughs> Moving on with this valuable 1976 bicentennial dollar. This one comes with S mint work as well. Here you can spot it above the numeral 9 and below the bust of Eisenhower. This denotes that this coin was struck by San Francisco mint and its metal composition, therefore, is 60% copper and 40% silver. Graded in Mint State 69 by PCGS, the silver 1967S Bicentennial dollar is widely available in certified capacity, although these coins largely reside in MS66 and MS67 grade, according to Heritage, with population dropping off sharply in MS68 condition. This sharply struck specimen, with almost no distractions, is pristine, displays pristine satin luster. 
that glistens across brilliant surfaces and sharp design elements. A few, a few faint russet accents around the borders serve as a pedigree markers. This true gem in Mint State 69 ended up selling for $15,000 on January 12th, 2024. It's a mint error coin, presenting you the 1976S quarter, struck on a Jefferson nickel planchet. This coin features clash dies of verse and reverse, another kind of error. Created as PR68 deep cameo by PCGS. Aside from the prominent clash marks near Washington's profile on Q, this proof by Centennial Quarter has a normal appearance. The field near the drummer's shoulder also shows bold clash marks. Closer inspection reveals that only the upper half of each side is readed and the dual date has a thin stretched appearance. The devices are frosty and the fields are pristine mirrors. Only few proof by centennial quarters on Jefferson nickel planchets are known. These rare gem ended up selling for $2,520 at Heritage Auctions. And this is 1976D by Centennial Half Dollar, struck on a 1975 dime. The 1976 D by Centennial Half Dollar struck on a 1975 dime is a double denomination error coin graded in mint state 66 by NGC. The dime date and mint mark are clear near the left wing of Independence Hall. Here, it's very obvious and you can see it. The half dollar mint mark is clear as well. Roosevelt's profile gazes the northwest relative to the clock tower. The flame of time torch flickers on Kennedy's cheek. The half dollar legends are absent aside from 1976 and portions of In God We Trust and United States. Formerly in the collection of Fred Weinberg, these highly coveted error coin ended up selling for $8,400. That's all for today. Please keep following us on YouTube. Don't forget to hit subscribe button if you haven't done so. Ring the bell for notifications. And stay tuned as we as we plan to do more live updates, more live streams, come join us and above I put an email address where you can send your coin pictures if you have rare ones. Thank you for watching and God's willing, see you in the next video.